Story time about how this girl pretended to be my best friend just to go on vacation with me. So a little background information, I was 14 and a freshman in high school. And we're going to call this girl Sophia. Sophia and I met whenever we were in 6th grade and we were inseparable. And shortly after her and I had became best friends, my mom thought that it would be nice for us to go on vacation to Hawaii in two years. She also said that my brother and I would be able to bring one friend each. So I asked Sophia if she wanted to come to Hawaii in two years and of course she said yes. Keep in mind, I was popular, Sophia was kind of lame, and I'm not even saying that just to be mean, but it's true. So over the next two years, her and I are hanging out every day, sneaking out together because we also live like two minutes away from each other. And my brother decided that he was going to bring his friend Noah. And I had a crush on Noah, and Sophia knew this, but she would always flirt with him in front of me. I really should have saw this as a red flag, but you know, we love to ignore those. And then out of nowhere, Sophia starts dressing like me and starts getting more popular in school. Like for part two. Part two about how this girl pretended to be my best friend just to go on vacation with me. So like I said, she had been flirting with this guy that she knew that I liked. And then she starts dressing like me and getting more popular. Which I didn't really care because I was still her best friend. Mainly because she didn't really have any other friends. So fast forward, vacation comes around and we all go to Hawaii. We had the best time ever. And then we come home and I barely hear from her. Like I was putting in all the effort, texting her every day and her responses were dry. And then she had this boyfriend named Brendan, which I guess that could have been the reason why she wasn't talking to me as much. Because you know, you get into a relationship and all of your focus goes towards that, especially at this age. But the only reason why she started dating him was because he was popular. So they break up and she stopped talking to me altogether. She even blocked me on Instagram. So I asked her what happened and she said that I was a controlling and she didn't want to be friends with me, which doesn't even make any sense because I've never been controlling to her. And then she starts texting me like everything was okay and this went on for a little bit. But after a few months, I just stopped talking to her, but I definitely felt used. Hello everyone, get ready with me while I tell you the time an old cold worker sent three girls to fight me because I didn't give him a chance. We're going to call this old co-worker Jonathan. I remember my first day on this job. Honestly, I didn't even work. I was just getting introduced to everyone who worked there. I was walking the building. We run into Jonathan. So Jonathan stops what he's doing and he comes to fully introduce himself. It wasn't like, oh, hey, my name is Jonathan. He was like, hi, my name is Jonathan. If you need, ever need any help or you have any questions, I'm here. Like he was doing the absolute most. Once Jonathan leaves me and my trainer, I quote the trainer because honestly, she didn't really train me. This girl and I continue to walk the building and we run into some of the upper management and they were just talking to me. And little do you know, I turn around and I see Jonathan again and Jonathan goes, hey, don't forget me. Like, I'm Jonathan. If you need something, like, I'm right here. Don't hesitate. That's a little backstory of who Jonathan is and how we met. Now let's fast forward to maybe like six months or a year later into me working here. So because Jonathan and I worked in the same section, there was absolutely no way of avoiding this kid. He would come to me all the freaking time every morning every second of the day wherever i was at he would literally go and try to look for me to start conversation try to get at me try to claim me it was ridiculous didn't have my privacy with him because even when i would go out for my lunch or break this guy would literally go to my car and try to start a conversation with me like dude it's, it's enough that I already see you inside the building for eight hours and you still want to come out here and try to find a way to conversate with me? Like, leave me alone. A few days later, I remember another coworker came up to me and he was like, hey, are you and Jonathan seeing each other? Are you guys dating? And I was like, what? No, why? And he was like, oh, it's because he's saying that you're his girlfriend. He's out here claiming you. And I was like, oh, hell no. Before I confronted Jonathan, I went to another coworker and I asked him if it's true that Jonathan has been claiming me and saying that I'm his girl. And sure enough, that coworker also says yes. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do something about this. Because I knew it wasn't a rumor, I ended up going to Jonathan. I almost said his name. <laughs> I ended up going to Jonathan and I was like, why are you going around and telling people that I'm your girl? Why are you claiming me? Why are you spreading false rumors? This is not cool. Everything to this guy was a joke. So me bringing this conversation up was irrelevant because he just started to laugh and deny everything. And I was like, you know what? I don't even know why I'm asking him because he's not going to say yes. 
I remember before walking away when I confronted him, the first, well, one of the first things I asked him also was if he had a girlfriend because I am so traumatized from the past of men who have girls trying to get at me because that is one, super annoying, and two, you're putting me into some drama that I have no business in. Like, all you could have done is been honest. So I didn't believe one word that came out of his mouth. I remember a week later, I was outside on lunch with some co-workers and Jonathan pops up. I was gonna leave the moment Jonathan arrived, but I was with other co-workers, so it's not like him and I were alone, so I just ended up staying, and plus the lunch was about to be over too, so I just wanted to finish my lunch and conversate with my other co-workers. As I'm chatting with my co-workers, Jonathan's phone ends up ringing, and Jonathan has always been the type of person that whenever he answers his phone, he's always answering on speaker. Because his phone was on speaker, I was able to listen to a little bit of the phone call and you guys won't believe what the call was about if you're wondering which you guys probably all are basically the part that i heard was oh this is a call from whatever prison from his friend's name and i was like yo someone's calling him from prison it's probably one of his boys i need to pay attention more to this conversation than this conversation him and his boy are chatting and his boy ends up asking him about a girl he goes hey how is this person doing i forgot her name but he was like hey how is this person doing and in my head i was like you got to be joking i ended up asking jonathan again if he has a girlfriend and he denies it and i was like jonathan are you sure because i just heard your whole conversation and your homie just asked you about a girl who is this girl i end up getting a text message from a person that worked there and this person goes where are you immediately when i got that text i was on high alert because this co-worker and i never spoke so the fact that you're asking me where i'm at and you're telling me to stay where i'm at i know there's something wrong or there's something going on he basically meets me at the location where i'm at and he goes where are you parked and I was like, outside in the front, why? I was like, there's a car outside with three girls, their license plate is covered up, parked next to you, and they're waiting for you to get out of work. And I was like, huh? I was like, they're here for me? I was like, are you sure? Yeah. I wasn't afraid. I ended up walking to the front to go see this car that apparently is parked next to me and has no license plate, and there's three girls in there waiting to fight me. A coworker that I was super cool with at that time ended up seeing me that I was walking to the front and apparently he also was informed about the girls and how they were here for me so he did everything to stop me and not go outside when this co-worker friend told me the name of the girls it instantly rung a bell because remember i told you earlier that in the phone call where his homie called him from prison he asked him for a girl so that same name was brought up <coughs> and i was like bruh this is jonathan's girl or his ex the coworker who went out to talk to these girls didn't let me basically leave until they left like the premises because then he kicked them out and they ended up just going outside on the other block so obviously like we knew they were still there i finally went home for the night and a couple hours later i got a message from a text now number <laughs> and it basically said hey what's up b ass ash and I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm not about to respond to this because I already know exactly who it is. <laughs> the girls ended up coming back a couple days later, still trying to fight me. And if you're wondering, it was basically this guy's girlfriend and two of her, her homegirls. And some of my coworkers ended up seeing that same car and the security basically kicked them out. And I think at one point they also made a police report. Um, and then after that, they just never ended up showing up. In regards to Jonathan, I blocked him on everything. Ever since I moved to, out to LA, I don't run into anybody. And also, Jonathan ended up getting fired because he got into some more drama. So they just thought it was better off to let him go because he was extremely problematic. But yeah, guys, that is the time where an old co-worker called three girls to come and fight me.